Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow tutorial using the OG, the original Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I'm just going to do a fun eye look using this. This is what it looks like inside. I'm sure you're very well aware. It's probably one of the most well-known eyeshadow palettes there is. It's got a lot of nice different shades in it, browns, taupes, uh, kind of some mauvey browns, there's some cool tone like gray and black over here, and we're just going to create a fun look. So to start off, I'm going to go in with this flat shading brush, and I'm going to use Virgin, which is the first shade. It's kind of a creamy champagne shade. It does have shimmer in it, and I'm just going to do this from my brow bone all the way down my eyelid, and this is going to be my base shadow. It's going to lighten up the brow bone area and it's also going to work well for the other shadows that I'm going to put on top of it to blend them out. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that to both eyes. This brush is kind of a thick um, shadow brush. It's, it's kind of chubby and dome shaped but it's angled and flat on one side and it's from Mark Avon. I use it in like all of my tutorial videos. So again just applying that first shade down all over my lid and then I'm going to go in with a transition shade and the transition shade that I'm going to use first I'm going to use a couple this is going to be my first one this is just called naked and it is just a matte kind of light camel color and I'm going to go in with the shocker it's a Lexi brush um, it's the 205 tapered blending brush which is my favorite brush of life so just applying the shadow onto the brush, tapping off the excess, and then sweeping this into the crease. And we will do this obviously on both eyes and just blend it out. I do like to apply it a little thicker back here to the, the outer V, the outer corner, and slightly above my crease, but definitely getting it into the crease. And this is going to create shadow and definition and just add a little extra oomph to the look. So going in and doing that with the other eye, making sure to kind of pat it in and then blend it out. Do whatever method works for you. I kind of start with the patting and then I kind of do a windshield wiper and then I come over here and just kind of sweep. So it's all what works for you, how you like to use your shadows and brushes. So now that I have that down, I'm going to go in with my second transition shade, and this one is going to be focused mostly into the crease. This is going to be Buck. It's this brown, like milk chocolate color. It's called Buck, and I'm going to go in with a slightly smaller blending brush also from Luxie. It's the 229 tapered blending brush. Tapping it into the shadow, getting rid of the excess, and focusing this into the crease as best as possible. It's okay if it goes slightly over or slightly under, but this is just the targeted area. And this is just going to add just a little bit more, you know, shadow and definition to the look. And going in and applying it to the other eye as well. Sweeping it in. And make sure that you're blending it out. These colors should blend together. Urban Decay has some of the best shadows I feel their shadows definitely blend together very easily and that's definitely true with this palette in particular so just blending those shadows together you can always add more or less depending on the intensity that you want to go for but you know me I like to do kind of simple looks because that's just my preference and now I'm going to go in with Toasted, which is kind of a rose gold, bronze, brown. It's kind of hard to describe, but it's really pretty. It's the shade right here. And this is going to go all over the lid. And I love this shade. It's so pretty. It's another shimmer. And you can wet it, and it looks really kind of metallic -y and very fun. So just kind of sweeping this all over the lid, and I'm using the Luxie... 227. It says it's a blending brush, but mine is like flat and angled, so I don't know if it's mislabeled or if the, the brush itself just got mangled in shipping. It's one that I received from an Ipsy bag. So just applying this to both lids. And I'm going to go back in and apply a little bit more. I want it to be a little bit more intense. And I'm going from the inner corner all the way out to the outer corner, just kind of tapping it in place. Inner corner, 
to the outer corner. So now I'm going to go in with this second shade right here. This is Sin. It's like a pink champagne color. And I'm going to really focus this on the center of the lid using that same brush. Getting the shadow. And there's a lot of fallout with this shade, so just be aware of that. I'm just focusing it onto the center of the lid. This is going to create a little bit of light effect and a little bit more dimension to the look. And now I'm going to go back in with that toasted shade. I'm going to mix it with Buck, which was that milk chocolate color, and I'm just going to apply this to the outer corner and also to the inner corner just so that that um, the sin that shade just so it really pops I'm doing that with both eyes and I'm not really getting a lot of shadow on my brush for those two colors going back in with sin and just applying some more but I'm, I wasn't getting a lot of those two shades just enough to like add some definition now I'm gonna go in with this BH Cosmetics small shading brush um, and I'm gonna go in with Buck and I'm gonna sweep it under my lower lash line. And same with this eye. Sweeping it out. All right. Now I'm gonna go in with this brush from BH. This is a dome shaped brush and I'm just going to put it into Virgin, that very first shade that we used. And I'm just gonna add just a little bit more definition under my brow and also the inner corner. And there you go. Um, I think I want to intensify the outer corners just a little bit. So I'm going to go in with my small shading brush. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to use Buck and the shade right here. This is called Hustle. It's like a shimmery dark brown. <clears throat> I'm going to mix these together and apply this to the outer corner. And this little brush is very, it can get shadow in very concentrated areas. And that's what I'm going for right now. And I'm going up to the crease and slightly into the crease as well. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I really like how this is looking. It's kind of more of a light brown smoky type eye with shimmer, but it's very pretty. Still daytime appropriate, which you know, that's what I'm all about. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with how this looks. I am going to take my dome shaped brush. I'm going to go back in with Sin, the pink champagne color, and just apply a little bit more to the center of my lid because I really want that nice highlight there. Okay, so now I'm going to go curl my lashes. I'm going to apply eyeliner and mascara, and then I will come back and apply a lip color with you guys. So I'll be right back. All right, so I am back. I finished my eyes, my eyeliner, my mascara, all that. So now I'm just going to go in with my lip color. And for today, I'm just going to be using a lip gloss. This is from Urban Decay as well. No, this is not a sponsored video. Just love their products. And this is my favorite lip gloss from them and probably one of my favorites in general. This is Nooner and it is their Ultra Nourishing Gloss. And it's just a nice nudie shade and I love it so much. So this is just what my lip color is going to be today. And there you go. There's the finished look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. It was fun to create. It was simple but it was fun and hopefully you guys really enjoyed it. Please go ahead and leave me comments down below of tutorials that you would like to see, videos you would like to see. If you haven't already clicked the thumbs up button, please go ahead and do that and subscribe if you haven't already and I will talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Oh don't you dare look back, just keep your eyes on me. I said you're holding back. She said shut up and dance with me. This